Hello, I'm Howie Sheriff, and welcome to another show from You Call This Yoga, an educational nonprofit organization. Today we have a special guest, Brenda Schnabel, who will lead you with chair yoga to open the heart chakra. Let's welcome Brenda. Hi, I'm Brenda Schnabel, and I'm from Chi Infused Yoga. In yoga, there are energy centers called the chakras. In the system of the chakras, there are seven, and one of them is called the heart chakra. And the heart chakra can be representative of many things. The main attribute that is associated with the heart chakra is love and compassion. And there are many different types of love. There's love of self, love of others, love of the environment, love of the um, something greater than yourself, such as God and the universe. It's generally represented by the color of green, or in this case, pink, which is why I'm wearing pink today. And so what we're gonna work on today is getting that heart energy flowing and balanced. So let's sit nice and tall, and we're going to start by doing what's called a prana mudra. Mudras are just hand gestures. So we're gonna take the thumb, the pinky, and the ring finger together, almost like you know, making a peace sign, and place them palm up on your lap. And then we are also going to do the mumbling breath. That's a pranayama. Pranayama is just a fancy word for basically doing different types of breathing exercises. And this is sounds like a bumblebee. Both of these are very uplifting. The pranayama we're gonna do, coupled with this mudra. So if you'd like to, you can close your eyes or just soften your gaze and look at a certain focal point. And here we go. We're gonna do this for about a minute. <clears throat> If you don't want to, you can just sit and listen because sound is energy and that energy will resonate within you as well. So here we go. <sighs> To do this mumbling breath, your teeth almost are chattering together as you make that long Z sound. <sighs> One more time. The reason pranayama is so important for the heart chakra is because the heart chakra not only is associated with the heart, but it's associated with the lungs, the shoulders, and the whole pleural cavity, basically. 
So keeping all of that healthy also keeps the heart chakra energy healthy. So now we're going to move into the movement part of the practice. And just as a side note, you can do that mumbling breath for however long works for you. We did it for about a minute, a little over a minute, but if you can do it for five minutes, that's great. So now we're gonna sit nice until we're gonna roll those shoulders up and back. We're gonna lift that heart up, relax those shoulders down. We're just gonna warm up the neck by bringing the chin to the chest and draw circles with the nose, slowly bringing it up as you inhale and exhale, bringing it back down. Breathing deeply from the belly. And when that chin comes to the chest, we're gonna reverse the direction of our circle. Get nice and slow. Coming back to center, we're going to sweep the arms up, and once they're there, we're going to just relax all the joints. So relax those shoulders, relax those wrists, relax the elbows, kind of round the back a little bit. As you tuck that chin in, we're going to slowly roll down through center. Coming down as far as you can, and if you'd like, you can use your block here to come down to at any level. The block can be this height, this height, or this height. Pause here and then slowly roll back up. Keep that chin tucked in. Joints nice and soft and gentle stretch up. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Relax all the joints again as we roll down to the right. Pause here, then inhale and slowly come up. And then over to the left. And slowly come up. And come back to center. And then we're going to sit nice and tall, draw that belly button in gently, bring the back of the hands together as you bring the chin towards the chest. Relax those shoulders down. Take a deep inhale, and we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift that heart up, take the arms out at eight and four on the clock. Exhale, chin to the chest. <clears throat> back of the hands together. Inhale and open. And really focus on that upper back. Moving those shoulder blades apart as the hands come together. Gently squeezing them together as the hands come out to the side. Let's do this a couple more times. Lifting that heart up. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Relax those shoulders down. Exhale, nice flat back and fold forward. Again, holding on to the block as you come down. If you need to, inhale, draw that belly button in and up and come all the way up. Let's look to the right as we fold forward. 
Inhale up and look to the left and fold. Inhale all the way up and exhale those hands down. Now we're going to really start to work with that heart. So we're going to take those fingers chest high facing each other. You can relax those shoulders down, sit nice and tall. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift that heart, take the elbows out to the side. And exhale and float the hands back together. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. One more time. And bring those hands down. Now, if your neck gets a little tense during that, you're probably hunching those shoulders up. So why don't we just do a little neck circles to release that neck. And even if your neck didn't get all crunched, that's fine. It still feels good to stretch that neck occasionally. Just rolling side to side. Good, one more time each side. Now we're gonna come into a seated warrior one position. So we're gonna take that right foot out and if you'd like, you can begin to straighten that left leg out. We're gonna turn towards that right knee. Bring the arms out together, palms straight, or palms are out, arms are straight. We're gonna take a deep inhale, lift up from the seat of the chair, begin to arch the back slowly, and we're gonna take the arms out to eight and four on the clock. And exhale together. Nine and three, excuse me, nine and three. Exhale, 10 and two, and all the way up to our warrior one. Relax those shoulders down, keep lifting up through the front of the body. Exhale, we're gonna take that left hand down and just gently place it on that left leg. Exhale into our warrior two position, looking out over that right hand. Moving into our side angle pose, hand or forearm on that right leg. We're gonna lift that arm up. Now, if you have shoulder issues, you wanna keep that arm right here, just the hand on the waist. But if you can, lift that arm up and take it over the ear. And then take that right arm out to meet it. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer position or namaste at the heart. Inhale and reach it out and back together. One more time, reach it out and together. Now we're gonna go up and down. Inhale, reach the left arm up, right arm down. Again, you can use your block here. Exhale at the heart. Inhale and stretch. Exhale once more. And inhale and come all the way up. We're gonna bend that left knee. And we're going to interlace those fingers. We're gonna sweep the palms up, draw that belly button in. Exhale, nice flat back and fold forward. Inhale and come up. Exhale and fold. 
inhale and come up exhale again use your block in the middle if you need to inhale and come up exhale and come down one more time come up and down and place the hands on the lap and come all the way up we're going to move the block over to the left side if you need to as we turn over towards that left side begin to straighten that right leg out if you can we're going to do that same sequence to the left roll the shoulders back bring the hands together in front take a deep inhale open the arms to eight and four on the clock lift that heart exhale those hands together inhale nine and three exhale ten and two exhale those hands together and all the way up to noon begin relax those shoulders lift up from the seat of the chair don't just throw the head back but we're opening the entire front of the body opening that heart And as we exhale, we're coming into our seated warrior two, looking out over that left hand. As we exhale, coming into our side angle bend, hand or forearm on that left leg. Again, if you have shoulder issues, please keep your hand on the hip. Otherwise, lift that arm up and take it over the ear and try to stretch through here instead of just using the arm you want to stretch through the body and then take that left hand out to meet it exhale to the heart inhale stretch exhale to the heart and stretch and to the heart inhale that right arm up left hand down again use your block if you need to exhale to the heart inhale up exhale once more and come all the way back up bend that right knee and once again, we're going to sweep the palms up, exhale to center. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more times. Now, we're staying right here. We're going to draw that belly button in nice flat back. We're going to take the arms out to the side. Exhale and fold. Inhale and exhale. Not only is this good for the heart, but it's also good for the low back. Inhale and inhale come all the way up and exhale down we're going to turn towards that right knee and these are two qigong movements so we're bringing heart energy into the heart we're going to hold a little ball of chi or prana a little ball energy and we're going to take it out and bring it back in exhale inhale the good energy in exhale and inhale
Once more, we're going to do this. And then if you remember the Karate Kid, when he was in this kind of um, posture, that's what we're going to do with our arms. But we're going to float them up and down. Fingers are pointed down as we float them up and down. Like you're flapping your wings gently up and down. And then we're going to come over to that left side and do the exact same thing. Hold your little ball of energy. Exhale the old energy out. Inhale the good energy back in. And then we're going to flap our wings, turn those hands down, turn the fingers up, and just gently flap your wings. And come back to center. We're going to do Goddess Pose. So we're going to roll those shoulders back and we're going to bring those hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lift that heart, open it up and just stay right here. Breathing gently in and out from the belly. On that next inhale, we're going to bring those hands together. We're going to form a little triangle if you want to, or you can just keep the hands a little bit apart. Inhale and take it out. Really stretching from shoulder to shoulder. And exhale together. All right, if you have a strap, you're going to want it. If you don't, that's fine. You can use a belt or a towel or an old tie. This strap is pretty long, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it in half. Now, if you have shoulder issues, be cautious on this one. Do what you can, and if you realize that this is not going to work for you because of your shoulder issue, that's fine. That's what yoga is all about, becoming aware of what you your body is telling you is acceptable and what you need to back off of. So we're going to take the strap, hold it pretty taut to the level of the nose and we're going to lift it up. Exhale, bend the elbows and take it to imagine where your nose is in the back of your head and see how my heart is just open here. Inhale up, exhale down. We're going to do that a few more times. Inhale up, Exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. We're going to take it a little bit wider. We're going to take it about elbow width apart and take it down to our collarbone. You're going to want to sit pretty far forward in your chair because we're going to take it up and we're going to bend the elbows, take it to the top of the shoulders. Inhale up and exhale down. This not only helps stretch the muscles around the heart, but as I said earlier, the heart is also responsible for the shoulders, so that heart energy. So we're working the shoulders a little bit here. Good, one more time. And then you're going to take it as far apart as you can, nice and taut, no limpy strap. We're going to take it down to the lap. Inhale, lift it up as far as we can, trying not to bend those elbows, and we're going to begin to take it back as far as we can go. 
That's why you want to sit forward in the chair so it doesn't get caught on the back of your chair. And it's best to do this in a chair that has no arms if you have that opportunity. Inhale up, exhale, nice big stretch. Take it back as far as you can go again. You want to feel a nice stretch but not a strain. Let's do this two more times. Up and over. Try not to hold your breath. One more time. Up and over. And as we bring it back overhead, we're going to stay right here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, come over to the right. Feel that nice stretch along the left side of the body. Do whatever feels good with your head. If looking forward feels good, that's great. But if it look, feels better to look down, please do that. Inhale up, and then we're going to go over to the other side. Just breathe through that left and right ribs on each side. Again, the heart chakra governs the lungs. So here we are asymmetrically working those lungs. Breathing right now through that left lung, those left ribs float up and separate. Coming over to the left, breathing through that right lung, those right ribs, letting those right ribs float out to the side, creating space. Inhale up, exhale those hands down, and go ahead and place your strap back down. And just take a deep inhale, exhale and round that back. Inhale and arch, exhale and round. Inhale and arch, exhale, round. Good, one more time. And you can either cross that right wrist, I'm sorry, right ankle or that right knee on top as we just come into a gentle twist. Inhaling up, twisting again from the low back, spiraling up just to release. Inhale back to center and to the other side. And then we're going to switch right ankle or, I'm sorry, left ankle or left knee on top as we twist to the left. And twist to the right. And come back to center. Inhale those arms up. Exhale to the heart. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you, Brenda. Please visit our website, youcallthisyoga.org, for articles, videos, events, and other yoga and wellness related information. You may also visit other videos on our YouTube channel, You Call This Yoga. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.